responding, you are speaking into the mic. Voice activated, and uh, you need to be uh, a couple inches from the mic. If you're not, uh, you're not being heard by those viewers at home, and if you're not being heard by those viewers at home, my phone rings a lot, um, <laughs> telling me that you're not being heard. So with that, uh, roll call, please. Councilor Tate? Here. Demas? Here. Dottie? Here. Galata? Here. Savage? Here. West? Here. Halter? Here. Windorf? Here. Mayor Como? Here. Councilors, I would entertain a motion to approve the... Uh, <coughs> Revised agenda before you here tonight. Your so moved, Your Honor. Uh, Councilman Shalada. So moved. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. <coughs> in councilors, um, uh, I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the city council meeting of April 2nd, 2019. I'll make a motion to approve that those minutes for April 2nd, 2019. Uh, thank you. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We do have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. Councilors, we have one item in our bid openings um, today. That's the 2019 um, weed mitigation program. Now, it looks like we, we have one bitter being weed management solutions out of Rock Springs, Wyoming. We do have a bid bond attached. Total bid, 89996 and 50 cents. $89,996 and 50 cents. This bid will be turned over to um, staff for review. Um, with that, the next item on our agenda is going to be the um, appointment section. And um, Mr. President, I submit to you the name of Billy Shalotta to serve first term countywide Board of Health. Council, Billy Shalotta has stepped up to serve on the countywide Board of Health. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved, Mr. President. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Full call, please. Councilor West? Yes. Walter? Yes. <laughs> Windorf? Yes. Tate? Yes. Demas? Yes. Dottie? Yes. Gelada? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Savage? Yes. Mayor, you have your appointment. Okay, Councilor, don't let us down. Okay. No, yeah. we're happy to have <laughs> Mr. Shalada there, and uh, he knows it well. Um, I appreciate that, uh, Mr. President, members of the council, and I also submit to you the name of Mike LaPiccolo to serve first term on the Police Civil Service Commission. Council, Mike LaPiccolo has stepped up to serve on the Police Civil Service Commission. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved, Mr. President. You, do we have a second? Second. Second. Roll call, please. Councilor Halter? Yes. Windorf? Yes. Tate? Yes. Demas? Yes. Dottie? Yes. Galata? Yes. Savage? Yes. West? Yes. Uh, Mayor Como, you have your appointment. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the council. This is going to bring us on to the presentations and proclamations section. Item number one, the Sweetwater County Library System Wyocon event. And here he comes. 
you could give us your name and uh, make sure the microphone's on and it's all yours. Do do. Let's see. Ah, it is working. Excellent. There you go. Uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Volner. I'm with the uh, Sweetwater County Library System, specifically the White Mountain Library branch here in Rock Springs. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to get up here and tell you guys uh, about this event today. We really like uh, like people to know about this. So, uh, YOCon is basically um, a uh, fan convention. So if you know about uh, things like the um, Salt Lake Comic Con or Denver or things like that, this is our, our small slice of that. Um, so we're trying to bring some of that uh, to our local community here. It's a chance for people who just really have a love of uh, fictional worlds and um, what we call fandoms and things like that to come together and just celebrate that love and uh, really uh, engage with each other. And it's just a great way to uh, get the community out and get them engaged. It's a great event for kids. Uh, we've got all kinds of cool stuff going on this year. We've got different uh, panel topics going on about some of the more popular things. We've got uh, like Star Wars. A few of you may have heard of that one. Uh, <laughs> things like that. Uh, several of the local vendors are going to be out, uh, like the Dugout and um, Terry Lee Jewelry, and there's some other ones who are going to be out there. Um, the Dugout is actually hosting some uh, gaming uh, tournament things there, so there's going to be some gaming stuff going on. And we've got a cosplay contest, and for anyone not familiar, cosplay is like uh, costuming, but based on uh, characters from fictional worlds. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting event, and uh, we hope that lots of people can come out for it. So thank you for the opportunity. Aaron, this sounds really, really um, cool. We're not going to get sued over the name, right? Y.O. Con? <laughs> Comic Con? It's a bad joke. Though. Well... <laughs> I think because it doesn't have the comic in there, we should be fine. <laughs> yeah. No, this sounds um, really interesting. I'm glad to see the library systems taking on this on and, and offering uh, some opportunity for, for those individuals that um, have the desire to get out and participate. And you're, you're, we're going to be April 27th, 11.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the White Mountain Library, correct? That's right. Questions, counselors? No, I, I, I think that's going to be a, a, a great panel screening, co co cosplay contest, Magic the Gathering tournament, and the ultimate trivia challenge. Sounds to be quite the event. So get out. Um, as we said before, people say there's nothing to do in um, Sweetwater County. This is another event. You just have to know it's there, and we appreciate you coming down and spreading the word and uh, putting this on. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Um, the second uh, presenter up tonight, Greater Little Mountain Coalition. Uh, Joy Bannon couldn't be here. I believe we have Craig, Craig Thompson, uh, Monty Morlocks here with us tonight. And uh, Craig, I'm going to turn the microphone over to you. We do have your handouts, and uh, I think you're ready to roll up there. Thank you, how's that? I didn't see the little light go on, so. Mayor Como has probably heard this from me before, but if you'll permit me a personal statement, I want to thank you for your public service. Just, uh, you know, I didn't come across a whole uh, fleet of luxury car vehicles when I came through the parking lot, and I assume then you're obviously not in this for the money, and I, and I think just like all the rest of the public servants, uh, you folks deserve the appreciation, and I want to thank you for your public service. Um, so I am a volunteer for the Greater Little Mountain Coalition. Um, I want to make two promises to you. First, I'm not going to ask you for money. And second, I'm going to keep this to 15 minutes, so you can time your watches. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, cheap and quick. Um, what we're going to do is first I'm going to tell you a little bit about the coalition, and then um, I'm going to tell you something about the issue. I'm going to ask you to watch a 
10 minute video, which gives you sort of a, a visual description of the land that we're going to be talking about. And then I'm going to make the ask. Okay, that's what, what I've got in mind. So with me tonight, not only is Monty Morlock with the, with the uh, steel workers, but also uh, we've got Josh Corsi with the uh, Muley Fanatics Foundation, and we, we have um, Nick, uh, Steve Martin with the Bow Hunters of Wyoming. Uh, the Greater Little Mountain Coalition also has uh, organizational members, the Wyoming Wildlife Federation and Trout Unlimited and the Teddy Roosevelt Conservation Partnership. But basically, we're 2,500 of your favorite neighbors, we hope. Uh, we are your co-workers. We are your neighbors. We are miners. We are uh, professionals. Uh, we're hunters. We're anglers. We are backpackers and hikers. And we are people who appreciate the public lands. And we are people who are coming to you tonight to ask for your support in defending these public lands. Um, here's the issue. 70% of the lands in this county are controlled by the federal government. They're managed by the Bureau of Land Management in our best interest. And um, that means that out of the Rock Springs District Office, three and a half million acres are managed. And they have a plan. And uh, they are coming up now, developing, and I think it's been several years in the making, a resource management plan that will guide their decisions, set the framework and the guidelines for the decisions that they're going to make on these public lands, your public lands, for the next decade. And uh, the Greater Little Mountain Coalition believes that there is a chunk of those public lands that deserve special consideration. So if you'll look at your map here, I'll describe these uh, uh, lands in detail. Basically, on the south, the border is the Utah-Colorado state border with Wyoming. On the east, uh, Highway 430. On the west, the um, Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area, which is uh, um, managed by the Forest Service, and on the north by the checkerboard boundary with one single exception, and that is um, in the lower Sage Creek area, we extend four miles into, uh, into the checkerboard. So that's what, that's the uh, checkerboard looking uh, expanse there of land in area three. One thing I also want to note is that in Area 6, the salt wells and uh, the benches off of Pine Mountain, this area is available for energy development and there are, are existing leases here. And uh, we feel that this area um, deserves consideration, but not the same kinds of considerations that the others. And those considerations are listed uh, underneath the map there. Okay. All right, so what I'd like to do now uh, is show you a video to give us all a better idea of, uh, <coughs> of what we're dealing with here in the, in the greater Little Mountain area. So I think all I have to do is click this once and we should go. Wyoming native. I uh, was 
born and raised in the Rock Springs, Green River area. Left after high school, served in the military. Uh, upon my service to the U.S. Army, decided that uh, we had found an opportunity where maybe that system could be improved to allow for more dollars to be generated, uh, to be spent locally uh, by local folks to make a local difference. You know, I think it, I think it came at a, a stage in life where, especially having your own kids, you get the recognition of somebody's got to be doing something. And uh, for a species as iconic as the American West, the mule deer, um, at the end of the day, you, you feel a sense of obligation that goes beyond your take of the resource. What I do for a living, we have uh, Infinity Power Controls, which is the energy industry. After going to the University of Wyoming, had opportunities to move to other places and decided to come home. I thought it was a great place for uh, my wife and I to come back. I don't think that when you think about southwest Wyoming, obviously, you've got the Red Desert. But when you go certain parts of southwest Wyoming, say like the Little Mountain area or uh, down in where there's a lot of cedar trees where you have uh, by the Flaming Board and things like that, it's not the idea that it's desert. It's actually uh, a very great ecosystem when you take a look at what we have. We spend all of our time, basically, on, on the mountain. Obviously, when, when I was a teenager and first started to hunt, I killed my first deer on the mountain. There were so many deer there, you actually cannot imagine how many deer were there. It's just unbelievable. Very appreciative of my dad teaching us to do the things we did. And Little Mountain was a great part of that. With only about 500,000 people in our little square state, uh, you could be about three or four miles away from anything and do just about anything you want to do. I take people all the time when they they come from other parts of the country that have never seen that type of wildlife. And we just go for drives. Uh, you may or may not see another vehicle. That's that's really neat. And you can always find elk, deer, antelope. I think that you can connect outside like you can't connect anywhere else. If you take your kids out, we took our kids out fishing, camping when they were little, and you get to know them a lot better. You turn everything off. You're sitting around a campfire. You can really connect. And now, as they're growing up, that's a resource for them to get out, relax, and disconnect from life. Our wild things and our wild places is what makes Wyoming special. And I don't think it has anything to do with taking. I think it has everything to do with being able to see it. It's a pretty unique area with a landscape that's pretty diverse from the desert floors to the, the mountaintops full of pines and conifers. It's, it's, it's an area that's unique to be able to carry from one end of the spectrum to the other and host all of those critters within there and world-class critters. The amount of revenue that has been allocated in the Little Mountain area over the last two decades is nothing short of profound. From stream restorations, to cheatgrass treatments, to prescription burns, to research projects, the list is long and the list is many. In addition to the dollars allocated, the time and sweat equity of numerous organizations, volunteers, and agencies has been stellar. There's a lot of beauty here. People don't, either they don't see it or they don't look for it. But if you're here for a while, you'll find it. Guaranteed, you'll find it. The story I've heard, our great-great-grandpa came over from Scotland. And he came over, I guess he got a job in town, in Rock Springs, delivering groceries. He'd save up enough money and bring two family members over. He'd save up enough money and bring two more over. And he did that, I guess, until he got them all here. But how they, why they picked this area to homestead, I never heard, did hear that. But they, I think they got a good catch there. Must have known what they were looking for. We're the fifth generation on the Ramsey Ranch out here. It's 36 miles south of town, uh, just right at the foothill of Little Mountain. We like to take care of the land. We do our best to manage it. We do appreciate this land because it is multi-use. We put our cows out during the summer. They can graze up on top of Little Mountain. You know, without that, it'd be really tough to ranch just on the deed ground, though. So the public access is a lot. We appreciate that. We wouldn't want to rule out any stakeholder in it, not hear any voice, but um, I don't think anybody wants to see Little Mountain develop.
15% of the total energy that's produced in the United States is produced in Wyoming. Wyoming, if they were a country of their own, would be the third largest producer of energy in the world. That's pretty big. My term is commission. There is a couple major threats to, to the South Rock Spring area. And the biggest threat today, in my opinion, is oil and gas development. People want the quality jobs in oil and gas and the minerals. 80% of the economy is we go to counties and minerals. Those, those commodities produce quality jobs for the people who live here. So we need to protect those jobs. But once people have a, a, a good income that those jobs provide, the next thing they look at is recreation. So, so one of the things that keep people in Wyoming is recreation. If you really take a look at what we're doing, recreation has is one of the reasons it keeps us here. We would like to see a balance between industry and conservation because we make our living industry, but we also enjoy the outdoors. We raised our kids in the outdoors, and we're now taking our grandkids out, enjoying it. They need that. They need to be able to go out, find themselves outdoors, and accomplish outside, get away from society, to enjoy what's out there, and huge resource. So I work in the oil field for two weeks, and then on my week off, I spend all of my time fishing. So the energy sector is really important to my friends and my family. Um, a lot of us end up working out there, and it's really important to have a balance between the energy sector and the conservation because we all do enjoy fishing, hunting, exploring all like out in these areas, but that is the way that we're making our living as well. What Wyoming is for right now is obviously we have energy production, but people stay in Wyoming because they like the outdoors. And to have the outdoors, you have to have places like the mountain area to keep that going. The question then becomes how much are we expecting to produce and what are we expecting to give up? Greater Little, greater little Mountain's an area where I'm not willing to put up. I mean, quite frankly, at the end of the day, God's not making any more earth. And so those special places like that, uh, you know, they, they're, they're on the radar. And it, it takes a special effort to try to keep them that way. And it's a fight worth fighting. Josh and Monty will be available to sign autographs afterward. <laughs> Steve and I ended up on the cutting room floor, and so we're just going to be moping around in the back, having been denied our six seconds of fame. <laughs> so here's our request. Here's our ask. Um, what we would like from the council is that they join with uh, the Green River City Council and with the Sweetwater County Commission in supporting our vision uh, for this greater Little Mountain area. We've taken the liberty to draft a letter. Uh, we are not married to the language in this letter. We have no ownership over this, uh, but we would like you to consider this letter and uh, we would appreciate very much your support. 
I want to make two things clear. The first one is this is truly a unique area. This is where the sagebrush steppe of this dry desert country transitions into a conifer aspen forest. And then it transitions into a landscape above the tree line. I don't know where else we find that, you know, but it's the only part in southwest Wyoming that I'm familiar with. Uh, the second thing is this does not obligate the council to advocate on any future proposal or for a development project. We're not, this is not an anti-oil and gas. It's not pro-oil and gas. It's not anti-coal or pro-coal. What it says basically is we think this area is pretty special. It, this does not obligate the BLM to do anything. They make their own decisions. We're just saying, please make these decisions in consideration of the um, uh, of of our proposal and with the support of the Sweetwater County Commission, the Green River City Council, and hopefully the Rock Springs City Council. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Craig, Josh, Steve. Glad to have you here as well. Um, Councilors, any questions? Um, of course, this country's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm, a, I'm a supporter of energy de development in a responsible manner, but I, I also um, agree that there are certain areas such as this that need to be off limit. Uh, it is. It's. It's. If you've been out there, it's a unique place um, uh, in the middle of these borders that you'll find nowhere else on earth and um, uh, one of those areas is actually um, Jackson Ramsey is a cousin of mine the Ramsey Ranch is, is uh, uh, actually Norma Ramsey is my dad's sister so she's my aunt so we spend a lot of time out there and um, I can tell you that um, uh, it's nice to go out I'm probably out there every probably every weekend I would say either a Saturday or a Sunday either at the Ramsey Ranch uh, or uh, just exploring and getting away from cell phone service and, and people. And uh, we don't have many opportunities to protect those um, critical habitat areas and those gems that we have in, especially southwest Wyoming. Uh, I uh, have taken upon myself to uh, draft uh, a letter already and uh, we'll present it to the uh, city council for their, their review and uh, we hope to support you in those efforts and join forces with the county commissioners, the city of Green River, and, and uh, the many the many residents that feel the same way. So I appreciate uh, what you do, and Josh, Steve, what you guys do with uh, with our wildlife and, and uh, Trout Unlimited. Uh, we don't get many opportunities, and we need to get this right. So I appreciate that. Uh, council, questions, suggestions? Uh, are you okay with that? I'll, I'll uh, send you out a letter, and if everyone's okay, we will uh, forward that to uh, you, Craig. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you it. very much. Well done. Okay, thanks, Craig, for that. Um, this is going to move us on to the public hearing section of our agenda. And uh, from the Housing Authority uh, Council, we have a public hearing to discuss the Rock Springs Housing Authority proposed changes to the section and voucher program administrative plan of which we will take action under Resolution 2019-50. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak on this? Hearing done, we're going to move on to our petitions section. Uh, is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak on any issue whatsoever? This will be your time to address the council on any issue whatsoever. Hearing none, I will close the petitions section of our agenda.
and move on to the officers and staff reports. Counselors, we have the health insurance fund recap for March 2019, the financial report summary for March 2019, and the Rock Springs Renewal Fund financial statements of February 2019. What's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman Tate. Move to accept those reports and place them on file. Uh, we do have a motion to accept the officer's staff reports and place on file. Do we have a second? Second. Second has been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The records show no opposed. This is going to bring us to our council committee and board reports. Uh, we have uh, item number one, the Rock Springs Historical Museum board meeting minutes of March 13th, 2019. And councilors, I would ask, is there any other council committee or board reports that you would like to <coughs> add? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I'd like to remind everybody of citywide cleanup, May 18th. I know you're getting tired of listening to me, but I'm getting tired of garbage. So <laughs> the supplies are going to be at the Chamber of Commerce uh, the afternoon of May 1st. You can sign up now. All the maps, compliments of our planning and zoning department are down there, uh, ready to be filled in with our volunteers. You can do it yourself. You can have a team. You, you know, if it's the neighborhood, your family, we don't care. We just need your able-bodied hands. Uh, there'll be free water bags and gloves down at the chamber, free lunch and prize giveaway at 1 o'clock at the Young at Heart Senior Center that afternoon. You don't have to do it that day. If it doesn't work out for you, you can do it any time whenever it's convenient for you. But if you still can make the lunch, we are happy to have you there, even if you can't pick up that morning. If you picked up even two weeks before, please feel free to come down for the free lunch. And also remember, wear long pants. Sensible shoes, sunscreen, bug spray, whatever it takes. We don't want anybody being exposed to the elements. Hopefully, it'll be warmer than it is today. So, thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Wendorf. Um, May 18th, be there. It's that time of year, and we appreciate um, everybody that helps out, and, and Glennies for your help on that as well. With that, your, Council. Your Honor. Oh, yes. Oh, Mr. Council. Um, if I could, if. If people do clean up and they have a stack of garbage or bags, if they could call public services office and notify us of where the where the pile is located, so we can pick it up. Okay, we we used to have strategic areas where they leave bags along the main roadside, but I, if it's not in one of those areas, and maybe Glenice has more on that, I well, don't know. Well, sometimes I know, like where I pick up. I just pull them on the side of the road, but I know we in the past we did have them, and I I wasn't quite sure if they were really being utilized or, you know, I'm lucky sometimes I can pull up a bag of garbage from the ditch because it's so heavy, you know. But I the city has always been really good at picking up, you know, shortly after yeah, I get it. Councilor Windorf, we we do run around and look for them, yeah. but there's a lot of times in the back areas that we don't get to, and uh, if if you know. We hate to have them sit there for several days because they seem to redistribute themselves. So uh, if people could just notify us if they see or see a pile of garbage. Also, let, let us know where it's at so we can go pick it up. Right, and also, you know, don't waste bags on large items like mattresses, tires, bicycles, front end axles. Uh, <laughs> this is all stuff we have found. <laughs> And if you find something that big and you can't pull it up, I know I always try to report it to the city. Or if there's a major dumping site within the city limits, um, or you can let me know. You can tell us uh, at the luncheon, um, you know, where it's located, and then I can get in touch with the streets department to get it picked up. Because some stuff is pretty big, and, you know, it's impossible. The truck literally has to drive out and pick it up. So and, thank you. And I... Um, I see Mr. Lee, the uh, director at the chambers here. If, if you could think, maybe tell your staff or we can put something out there. If people come in to get gloves or whatever, just a little note that if they put a pile of garbage, let let us know at the city where it is so we we know where we're looking. That would be helpful. Uh, with that, council, I'd, I'd entertain a motion to uh, approve the council committee and board report. So moved, Your Honor. We do have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 
Are there any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. This is going to bring us to uh, correspondence. Several items under correspondence. Uh, invitation from the Board of Trustees at Western Wyoming Community College to attend commencement exercises at the Western Wyoming Community College Rushmore Gymnasium on May 17th at 7 p.m. Uh, to the letter from Mike Waters regarding banning gas chambers at the animal control facility. Three, a letter from the State of Wyoming Construction Department regarding appropriated funding for Sweetwater School District Number 1 for future school construction projects. And four, a letter from the art movement regarding details of a 5K run to be held on June 8, 2019 at Bunning Park. Counselors, I would entertain a motion to approve the correspondence and place on file. So moved. We do have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. This is going to bring us to the bills and claims section of our agenda. Item number one, we have the bills and claims for April 16th, 2019. Counselors? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendorf. I move to approve the bills and claims for April 16th, 2019. Counselors, we do have a motion to approve the bills and claims for April 16th, 2019. Is there a second? Second. There is a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Abstain. And I'm going to abstain as well. And item number two, the salaries for April 8th, 2019. Your Honor, I move to approve the salaries for April 8th, 2019. Counselors, we have a motion to approve the salaries for April 8th, 2019. Is there a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. And this is going to bring us to our new business section of our agenda. Item number one under new business is going to be the request from the finance department for permission to dispose of surplus property. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendorf. I move to approve that request and thank you everyone. Cleaning house. <laughs> we do it's like a, a used car lot on that list. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I do appreciate, appreciate all the departments for um, uh, doing their best to get those items on there and um, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, uh, it's almost like a citywide cleanup. <laughs> And um, we'll, we'll have some room and hopefully benefit some of those uh, people in the community. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. And item number two, the approval of the annual drinking water quality report, May 2019. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman Savage. I move to approve that. We have a motion to approve the report. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Let the record show no opposed. Just a shout out to those people that take care of our water. I think we take that for granted sometimes. But um, a lot of hard, hard work going into uh, to that system. and. Uh, uh, quality water that we uh, take granted that comes out of the tab. So we appreciate uh, Joint Powers Water Board City for all you all that you do there. Um, item number three, the request from the fire department for permission to apply for the 2019 Wyoming State Office of Homeland Security Preparedness Grant Program. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman Savage. I move to approve their request for application uh, we do have a motion to approve this request we have a second second second's been called all in favor say aye aye, aye. are there any opposed record show no opposed and item number four uh, which was um, your revision was a request from the Rock Springs Historical Museum for permission to apply for the AARP Community Challenge 2019 grant program counselors with pleasure Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I move to approve that request. We do have a motion to honor this request. Is there a second? Second. Second's been called. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The record show no opposed. And item number five, the request from Sweetwater against trafficking and sleep in heavenly peace Rock Springs for road closures for the rods and rails event on South Main and the parking strip on North Front Street on June 15, 2019 from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. North Front Street from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for bed races and closing South Main again from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. for a sock hop. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman Tate. Move to approve that request. We do have a motion to honor this request. Do we have a second? Second. Second has been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? So, June fifteenth. There's a lot of stuff going going on. So get down downtown, get your team, uh, uh, race some beds, have a sock hop, and enjoy the rods and rails um, um, car show. This uh, looks to be a, a very active day. We appreciate that. Item number six: a request from Sweetwater against trafficking for a malt beverage permit for the Rods and Rails Car Show, Bed Races, and Sock Hop on June 15, 2019 from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at various locations downtown. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman West. Move to approve this request. Uh, we do have a motion to approve this request. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Record shown no opposed. It's going to bring us to item number seven, which is a request from Santa Fe Trail for a liquor catering permit for the reception for Chip Smith on May 4th, 2019, from 3 p.m. to midnight at Bunning Hall. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I move to approve that request. We do have a motion to honor this request. Do we have a second? Second. second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The record show no opposed, and this is going to bring our last item, number eight, request from Lynn Pye, Incorporated, doing business as Bombers Sports Bar for permission to extend their serving area for their first annual Poker Run charity event to benefit the Red Desert Humane Society on May 18th. 2019 from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Councilman Shalada. To approve this request. We do have a motion to honor this request. Is there a second? Second. Second's been called. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The records show no opposed, and this is going to bring us on to the resolution section of our agenda. From the Housing Authority, Resolution 2019-50. A resolution authorizing Timothy A. Como acting in his capacity as chairman of the Rock Springs Housing Authority Board to repeal the revised administrative plan for the Housing Choice Voucher Program dated April 7, 2015, and replace it in its entirety, the new administrative plan dated April 16, 2019. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Windor. I move to approve resolution 2019-50. Counselors, we do have a motion to approve resolution 2019-50. Is there a second? Second. Second has been called. Roll call. Councilor Windor. Yes. Tate. Yes. Demas. Yes. Dottie. Yes. Galata. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Miracle. Yes. Again, from the Housing Authority, item number two, resolution 2019-51. A resolution accepting and approving the Rock Springs Housing Authority revised standard maintenance charges and authorizing Timothy A. Como acting in his capacity as chairman of the Rock Springs Housing Board to execute the revised standard maintenance charges. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Councilman Shalata. resolution. We do have a motion to approve resolution 2019-51. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Roll call. Councillor Tate. Yes. 
Demas? Yes. Zadi? Yes. Shalada? Yes. Savage? Yes. West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Windorf? Yes. Maricomo? Yes. And April, thank you for your work and uh, um, in providing the uh, description and the information to us. You know, let us know what's going on. We're going to move on to resolution 2019-52. And Mr. President, if I could, I'm going to read choose myself from this one being as if it is uh, uh, regards uh, the firm of which I wish or which I work and um, uh, although it followed the um, selection process I'm going to turn this meeting over to you at this time okay council up next uh, next up we have resolution 2019-52 a resolution accepting and approving a work order agreement for professional services with JFC Engineering Surveyors in the amount of $111,000 and authorizing Timothy A. Como as mayor and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk to execute said agreement on behalf of the city of Rock Springs. Council, what is your pleasure on resolution 2019-52? Your Honor. Council yeah. to take. Um, I move to approve resolution 2019-52. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councillor Demas. Yes. Zadi. Yes. Shalada. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Windor. Yes. Tate. Yes. Okay. Next up, we have resolution 2019-53. Okay, thank you, Mr. President. Members of the council, um, next item on our agenda is resolution 2019-53. A resolution accepting and approving a lease between the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming and DJC Properties, LLC, and directing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk of said city to execute said lease on behalf of said city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman West. Move to approve resolution 2019-53. We do have a motion to approve resolution 2019-53. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Roll call. Councillor Zadi? Yes. Gelada? Yes. Savage? Yes. West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Windorf? Yes. Tate? Yes. Demons? Yes. Mary Como? Yes. Um, item number five, resolution 2019 54. A resolution accepting and approving a lease between the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, the Rock Springs Urban Renewal Agency, and William McCurtain, James R. McCurtain, and Scott McCurtain, and directing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, Chad Banks as manager of the Rock Springs Urban Renewal Agency, and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk of said city to execute said lease on behalf of said city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I move to approve resolution 2019-54. Uh, we do have a motion to approve 2019-54. Do we have a second? Second. Second has been called. Roll call. Councilor Shalada. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Windor. Yes. Tate. Yes. Demas. Yes. Zadi. Yes. Mary Como. Yes. And duly noted for the history of Rock Springs uh, for generations to come. It would be only right if we put one dollar in an envelope and send it to Mr. Scott McCurtain, James McCurtain, and Bill McCurtain to make sure that we held up our end of this bargain. So I do appreciate that and uh, let it be known. Item number six, resolution 2019-55. A resolution accepting and approving a lease between the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and the estate of Roy P. Bogvalt by and through Wide Acre Properties, LLC, and authorizing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, to execute said lease on behalf of the city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? 
Your Honor. Councilman Tate. Move to approve 2019-55. We do have a motion to approve 2019-55. Do we have a second? Second. Second. It's been called. Roll call. Councilor Savage? Yes. West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Windorf? Yes. Tate? Yes. Demas? Yes. Zadi? Yes. Gelada? Yes. Mayor Como? Yes. Item number seven, resolution 2019-56. A resolution accepting and approving a de dedication agreement from a &R Real Estate Holdings, LLC, a Wyoming limited liability company, and authorizing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the city of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk of the city of Rock Springs to execute said agreement on behalf of the city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I move to approve resolution 2019-56. We do have a motion to approve 2019-56. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, we do have a second. This does work. Uh, roll call. Councilor West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Windor? Yes. Tate? Yes. Demas? Yes. Zadi? Yes. Shalada? Yes. Savage? Yes. Eric Como? Yes. Item number eight, resolution 2019-57. A resolution accepting and approving a corrective dedication agreement from Sweetwater Station, LLC, a Wyoming limited liability company, and authorizing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the city of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk of the city of Rock Springs to execute said agreement on behalf of the city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman West. Move to approve resolution 2019-57. We do have a motion to approve 2019-5 second. Seven, do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Roll call. <laughs> Councilor Halter. Yes. Windorf. Yes. Tate. Yes. Demas. Yes. Zadi. Yes. Shalada. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Maricomo. Yes. And in the hopes of seeing some potholes go away, resolution 2019-58. A resolution accepting and approving a form of contract with Kilgore Companies, LLC, doing business as Lewis & Lewis, Inc. in the amount of $1,037,360 and authorizing Timothy A. Como as mayor and Matthew L. McBurnett as city clerk to execute said contract on behalf of the city of Rock Springs. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman, who was that down Maybe. there? <laughs> I haven't heard uh, much out of this side, but Councilor Zotti. Move to approve resolution 2019-58. We do have a motion to honor <coughs> resolution 2019-58. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Roll call. Councilor Windorf. Yes. Tate. Yes. Demas. Yes. Zotti. Yes. Shalada. Yes. Savage. Yes. West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Maricomo? Yes. It's been a long, hard winter uh, if you've driven around our town uh, on our highways. I just went, uh, traveled down to Park City. Uh, unbelievable potholes. But bear with us. We're trying to uh, uh, rid ourselves of some of this and uh, appreciate Mr. Kausich and his department um, for uh, managing this. And hopefully we'll see some better better streets as we move forward into the spring and summer seasons. Item number 10, resolution 2019-59. A resolution accepting and approve, approving a memorandum of understanding between the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming and the Rock Springs Sweetwater County Airport Board, a Wyoming Joint Powers Airport Board, and authorizing Timothy A. Como as Mayor of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Matthew L. McBurnett as City Clerk of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming, Dec execute said memorandum of understanding on behalf of said city. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor, to approve 2019. We do have a motion to approve 2019-59. Do we have a second? <coughs> second. Second's been called. Roll call. Councilor Tate? Yes. Demas? Yes. Zadi? Yes. Shalada? Yes. Savage? Yes. West? Yes. Halter? Yes. Windorf? Yes. Maricomo? Yes. Item number 11, resolution 2019-60. A 
a resolution accepting and approving a summary of benefits and coverage approval form with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Wyoming and authorizing and directing Timothy A. Como as mayor of the city of Rock Springs, Wyoming to execute said SBC approval form on behalf of the city of Rock Springs. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilman Tate. Move to approve 2019-60. We do have a motion to approve 2019-60. Is there a second? Second. There is a second. Roll call on the resolution. Councilor Demas. Yes. Zadi. Yes. Shalata. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Windorf. Yes. Tate. Yes. Miracle. Yes. And item number 12, resolution 2019-61. A resolution accepting and approving a revised job description for the position of senior accounting technician at pay grade 46 for the city of Rock Springs, Wyoming. Councilors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Windorf. I move to approve resolution 2019-61. We do have a motion to approve 2019-61. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Roll call. Councilor Zadi. Yes. Shalada. No. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Windorf. Yes. Tate. Yes. Demas. Yes. Maricomo. Yes. And that is going to bring us to the ordinances section of our agenda, counselors. Uh, item number one, ordinance 2019-08 on third reading. An ordinance amending Article 3.5 of the ordinances of the City of Rock Springs entitled Humane Control and Regulation of Animals. Whereas the governing body of Rock Springs finds that abandoning animals should be charged as a criminal offense punishable by a, jail, by a fine in jail. Perfect. Third reading. Counselors, what's your pleasure? Your Honor. Councilwoman Wendor. I move to approve Ordinance 2019-08. We do have a motion to approve Ordinance 2019-08. Do we have a second? Second. Second's been called. Uh, roll call on third. Councillor Shalada. Yes. Savage. Yes. West. Yes. Halter. Yes. Windorf. Yes. Tate. Yes. <coughs> Demas. Yes. Zadi. Yes. Maricomo. Yes, and I appreciate everybody, um, Mr. Beckwith, everybody for working on that, that moving us into that direction. That's going to bring us to item number two, uh, Ordinance 2019-02, second reading. Oh, sorry, 09, second reading. An ordinance amending Article 413 of the Ordinances of the City of Rock Springs entitled Tree City USA. Councilors? Oh, second reading. Very good. Item number three. Ordinance 2019-10, first reading. An ordinance amending Article 10-1 of the ordinances of the City of Rock Springs entitled Liquor License. Item number four. Ordinance 2019-11, first reading. An ordinance amending section 1604C of the ordinances of the City of Rock Springs entitled Adopting the Personnel Policies and Procedures Relating to City of Rock Springs Employees and Adopting Revised Personnel Policy. Item number five, ordinance 2019-12, first reading. An ordinance creating Article 1110 LR Communications Inc. within Chapter 11 Franchises and Rights of Way of the Ordinances of the City of Rock Springs, Wyoming. Councilors, with no further business to come before this governing body, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>